Phil, it's been a very organised start to pre-season. What are your thoughts on the first two workouts? Uh, well, you know, we've, we've won them both 1-0, but I'm not really about results um, in pre-season, if truth be known. You know, I could have banged a big drum, you know, we've beaten Cardiff City, a championship club, and former Premier League club, and uh, you can bang them drums if you want to bang them drums. It's not for me that. Pre-season's about a process. Pre-season's about um, just putting them building blocks in place. You know, we're nowhere near the team that will probably start the first day of the season because I'm having a look at trailers. I'm having a look at the young lads that have come through the academy. And some of them are showing great signs. They really are. Um, and then we've got new signings coming in. We've got the players that were existing that I wanted to be here, and they still that still are here. Um, so that. I call it Jigsaw United. It, you know, we're not kidding in Saharias at the moment. We're Jigsaw United, but it will eventually become kidding in Saharias. But again, today, you know, the traits of possession um, were there for everybody to see. We've got players like Luke Summerfield wants to get on the ball off, as often as he possibly can in midfield, and he's got players around him that want to play as well. That was in the second half. In the first half, we had you know Digger Davis um, doing exactly the same. Um, and then you're looking for a bit of creativity from overlapping play or full-back play or, or the strikers and, and there's a lot of good signs coming out but I, I still think we're not struggling to score goals but we are struggling to understand that the final third is about really it's about scoring goals and we can retain possession and keep possession and, and but when that chance comes along and it was there was numerous chances you know don't get me wrong thank you very much to Droit which I think uh, you know you have to say it they're in town, basically, we're, we're 10 mile away or 15 mile away, how, however many it is. Uh, we've used their facilities all last season. I really do appreciate the club. Uh, there was 500, over 500 people here today, which again, I know it's very close and Kitty, Kitty fans can see us for the first time. They can see the new signings. So it's all sort of coming together. Of course it is, but there's a long way to go. A long, long way to go. Um, I think with uh, probably another five or six games, uh, in terms of pre-season, which we have organised, um, I'll be getting a better picture when we get the games at Agbury. You know, the likes of you know Stoke City and Newport. I think there'll be a, a bigger challenge, a tougher challenge. Everybody will be getting to that sort of final stage and fine-tuning everything. And nothing changes, Matty. You know, goals will be from set pieces, probably 50, 60 percent, and we have to fine-tune that. We have to understand, you know, that we have rules and regulations and. We all have to abide by them rules and regulations, but set pieces will win us games of football. We've got quality coming in. We just need movement and, and a little bit of desire again at the end of things. We look organised, which I'm happy with, which is a direct result of the, of the training ground routines that we're going through. Uh, and we're looking fairly fit. It's, you know, it has, has to be set up. I think we're probably slightly ahead in terms of the fitness levels, but match fitness is different from, from running fitness. You know, we are called Harriers. Yeah, Harriers do run. But we need to be organised running. We need to run together as a team and only run when we need to run. Um, and if the opposition are asking better questions maybe than what Droitwich did today, uh, maybe like the Cardiff game where questions are being asked of you on a regular basis, then you're getting your level of fitness between the ears, you know. And these things are, are all part and parcel of this process I'm talking about. And is it structured in, in such a way, as you say, that the opposition will imp improve week to week, if you like, and you'll get asked different questions? 100%. Um, we, uh, we asked the Cardiff uh, backroom staff how long they'd been back. They'd been back a week before us, so I was expecting a real tough test, and it was. You know, they, they could handle the ball, there's no doubt about it, but I was, I was really impressed with the way our lads handled the ball, you know. The surface was just outstanding. And I'd like to say to Kidderminster, you know, they, they to um, Droitwich, sorry, they have had a go here, you know, the, the, the surface was decent. Um, and you're going to get this kind of surface, this is what I was saying to the lads before the game, you know, you're going to get this kind of surface um, at the clubs that we're going to be playing in the, in the National League North. Agbra itself, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to blossom into probably one of the better pitches in the division, but that means teams can come and play. So we have to learn them rules and regulations, stop the opposition from playing, then and play the kind of football that we want to fill the house, you know, we want to get Agbra fans in, we've been around the the supermarkets in town, we've been around the college, we've been around everywhere, just trying to drive home the um, the positivity about the football club. Even though we got relegated last season, we want to go straight back up. We want season ticket holders to be proud of, of the team because of the way we play at home. And then if we've got a battle on a Tuesday night, it's 
places like Farsley, Celtic or South Shields or wherever, then we go to battle on a Tuesday night and try and win the game. It doesn't matter as long as you win the points. Uh, so all of them, as I say, are, are mental as opposed to um, to physical, but they're all tactical as well, you know, they're all things that we have to take into consideration that the outside world is a different world if you go to Farsley Celtic. You mentioned um, the goal scoring and wanting to create chances. I mean, in the forward area, if you like, the wide areas and the forward areas, there's a lot of talent within the yeah, squad. Yeah. Um, how do you go about getting the, the final piece out of <coughs> The million dollar question, isn't it? The 64 million dollar question. You've got to unleash or unlock that, um, that uh, not the talent, you've got to unleash um, the power that goes into the final third quality, the delivery, you know, you've got to have calm, cool minds. I've worked with some goal scorers in my time and they're off the park, they're so calm, it's it's um, it's unbelievable. Amari's running around, he wants to run for his team, he wants to work hard for his team and then the moments in the, of, of calmness that's required to put the ball in the back of the net and win the game 1-0, which we have done today to be fair. Um, that was a typical Amari kind of cause consternation in the six yard box and then a midfield player comes in and gets the tap in. That's what I know I've got with Amari, but if his midfield players understand that and appreciate that, they're going to be on the front foot and Brownlee's going to get a few goals and hopefully. I've noticed um, Topi today, you know, he looked positive, he wanted to be in and amongst Amari. Um, and then we've got the sitting midfield player um, in the two, one in the first half, one in the second half. Um, we're going to have competition for places, which is good, good news, but if, if I had a told you that that team that started against Cardiff was going to be the team that starts in the first game of the season against Arlington, I'd be a liar because there's so much going to happen, you know, like four weeks of hard work, of battling, we're going to have to suffer one or two injuries which is unfortunately part and parcel of the game. But if they stay strong and they stay, stay resilient, we've asked them to be more robust and what robust is understanding what the opposition can do to you. And, and can't, you know, like protecting yourself from that to a certain extent. So all of these things hopefully will be in place in the next four, four weeks and then when Darlington away comes around on the 10th of August we'll be ready.